Hi, my name is Michael Schmidt. I'm a research group leader at the University of Liverpool at the Institute of Translational Medicine. My group is interested in the role of the tumor microenvironment in cancer. Today, I will talk about the role of the tumor microenvironment in pancreatic cancer metastasis. So, pancreatic cancer is a highly aggressive metastatic disease and has a poor prognosis. The tumor develops at its primary site, which is the pancreas, and then it can spread to a secondary site, which is in pancreatic cancer, most often the liver. And we were interested how the tumor microenvironment affects the metastatic spreading of pancreatic cancer. We are standing now here next to the fluorescent microscope. This instrument allows us to look at very thin tissue sections. So we put the sample here in the microscope. Then we can observe the cellular structure of the tissue. This is a typical image of a metastatic lesion found in our preclinical animal models. The cancer cells are here shown in green, which form like ductal structures. And we can see in red the surrounding cells from the stroma, which are in that case the myofibroblast. So what we observed initially is that metastatic lesions have very high number of these red stromal cells as well as immune cells and we were very fascinating by this strong phenotype. The problem is with immune cells there are different subpopulations and we were interested what kind of actual immune cells are accumulating at the metastatic lesion and therefore we use a different technique which is called flow cytometer and we will go now over to the instrument where we can measure immune cell populations. Now I'm in the flow cytometry facility. I am standing next to a flow cytometer. This machine allows us to specifically quantify what kind of immune cells are found within a tissue. So basically we are using tissue samples from human biopsies or preclinical models. We then mince the tissue and digest it with an enzyme cocktail and afterwards stain for the different immune cell population. By running these single cell suspensions through the machine, the machine afterwards will tell me what kind of immune cell are present in that tissue. The flow cytometry analysis reveals that macrophages are the main immune cell population infiltrating the metastatic site. We observed previously that myofibroblasts accumulate also in high numbers at the metastatic site. So we next investigated the interaction between macrophages and myofibroblasts, which are basically two different stromal cell types. We found that macrophages secrete a factor called granulin, which is necessary for the activation of myofibroblasts. And myofibroblasts then secrete in response to their activation by granulin periostin, which is an extracellular matrix component. And periostin promotes the growth of cancer cells at the metastatic lesions so that they are able to grow in a hostile environment and form metastatic lesions, colonies. So one way to analyze this is by the use of a colony formation assay and thereby cancer cells are cultured under a suboptimal condition and they are basically not able to grow. However, by adding myofibroblast derived factors or periostin, the cancer cells are now able to grow and this can be seen by here when they start to form a colony. Taken together, our studies have revealed that the tumor microenvironment plays a critical role in the metastatic process of pancreatic cancer by promoting the growth of disseminated cancer cells. We hope that our studies can provide the scientific rationale to develop now strategies which target stromal-derived factors to inhibit pancreatic cancer metastasis. Thank you very much for listening.